So one of the first things that the new CCO wanted to talk about was this HR case that had been closed out due to this false sexual um, harassment complaint from my lying ass colleague, Hito. Okay. So she pulls me in the office and, um, you know, berates me continually and tells me how embarrassing it is for her that I have a sexual harassment complaint. And I explained to her that it was not valid, um, that I was, you know, a targeted person because he, he, because I rejected him and, um, she didn't accept it. She said it was an embarrassment to her and that I would not be able to function in my capacity as a CCEP because of that. So therefore I would be doing all of her administrative things. I would be babysitting her child, picking her child up from school. I would be her personal assistant. I would be scheduling appointments for her at Nordstrom uh, to, to try on outfits because she has a personal shopper at Nordstrom's that has champagne waiting for her every day whenever she goes there at a whim, right? She can buy anything she wants. And this is exactly what I dealt with for her, with her. And it was, it was bad. It was bad. She berated everything I did, everything I, I'll, I'll, the, the next, uh, you know, summit, was a nightmare. She was, she had her nose and everything, you know what I mean? And it's like, I'm more, I'm more than capable of doing this. I've done this several times already, you know, but no, 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 no. Everything was picked apart. I was ousted. I was ousted by actually nobody had my back guys. I'm sorry. Nobody had my back. Nobody, not Alyssa, not Miles, not nobody. They just let it happen. Yeah. I was picked on, ousted, and eventually, uh, took the job in travel because I was pushed out by the CCO. So yes, she was connected to this. She was. And the other two, I don't think were, but they didn't do anything about it. You know, 